Stay tuned for tips and techniques from the nation's top chefs in the Chef's Kitchen. Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Hope Cohen. Welcome to Philadelphia Magazine's Guide to Holiday Entertaining. I'm here with Melissa Monasoff, Consulting Sommelier for the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board. Great to have you in the Chef's Great Kitchen. Great to be here. Thank you. I'm really excited. We're going to be talking about wines and pairing wines and cocktails and entertaining with all kinds of spirits. Yeah, absolutely, holiday parties. So what are we gonna talk about first? Well, we're talking about making um, holiday entertaining easy. Um, finding ways to um, use great wines, great spirits, having a good time at your own party. and Always finding <laughs> Exactly, and finding ways, uh, yeah, just to enjoy yourself at your own party. People are a little skeptical about black wine, box wines, but Black Box in particular is a great brand. Not only is it great wine in the box, but what's interesting about the box wines is that there's actually four bottles of wine in side of one of these boxes. Which is, it's much easier to carry that than mm -hmm. four bottles if you're going, and it's a nice gift for someone. Absolutely, This it's a nice is gift. actually an Italian Pinot Grigio uh -huh. from Veneto. Absolutely, and they make a Shiraz, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Chardonnay, all the grapes people like. And all you have to do is flip open the back, hook up the tap, and people can just go and get a glass of wine from the tap. So what are we going to taste first? Well, I thought, you know, another idea that I had for um, ease of entertaining, another thing, if you're gonna buy bottles of wine, finding wines that are easy to open. The whole thing of having the corkscrew there and um, having to open a ton unless of bottles. Unless you have a sommelier present. Unless you <laughs> hire me for your party. <laughs> but um, we have some great wines um, in, the, in the state stores in the chairman selections that are not only great values, but they're great wines for party. This is an interesting Gruner Veltliner, um, kind of from Austria. From Austria, it's really vibrant and fresh and zingy. Best with food, though. These yeah. types of wines like a, are... It's like a Riesling type of flavor profile? Yeah, it's really dry, though. So it's really dry and crisp. It's a screw cap. <laughs> it absolutely is a screw cap. So that makes it easy for holiday entertaining. So there you go. just pop them open. And uh, this is a chairman selection. And I really... Oh, you should see the chairman selections that the are The chairman out. select wines at the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board stores are really a great bargain. So Gruner Veltliner is the name of the grape. It's really fresh, crisp, and dry. A lot of mineral components, a lot of citrus, a little bit of peach, a lot of apple. Wow. Yeah. Mm. But uh, Really nice. And again, a great hors d'oeuvre wine. Mm -hmm. So if you're passing hors d'oeuvres or you have a buffet, easy to drink, good acid, and helps you know, when you're eating food, it gives you like a nice pairing there. Absolutely, it makes you hungry. That, yeah. I, that citrusy part you makes you hungry. Food in your <laughs> you want to put food in Great. your mouth. So. What's next? Next, um, let's talk about, a little bit about sparkling wines for the holiday and making things easy for you um, in at a holiday party. Um, not only. Prosecco. Not only serving sparkling wine from the bottle, but also making maybe even holiday punches, holiday sparkling wine drinks, and it can be easy. Champagne for, cocktails. Champagne cocktails. It's really Very easy. Very festive. What's the secret to opening uh, a sparkling wine bottle or tip that you can give to the people watching at home? Well, don't point it at people. That's the okay. first thing. <laughs> um, uh, always keeping your hand on the cork. While I mean, you're unscrewing while the While you're unscrewing it. You never take the wire off first okay. because unless it, you have to make sure it's cold enough. So okay. um, unscrewing the wire and loosening the cage like that, but keeping your finger on the uh, cork. Okay. And then you actually twist the bottle. And then you can see the wine, the cork's already starting to come out. And I actually press against the cork so I have control of it. So I'm turning the bottle and turning the bottle. Should I do a pop? Yeah, oh, go ahead. It's, it's very festive. <laughs> it's very festive. If the wine's chilled properly, it shouldn't bubble over. Absolutely. And you'll get uh, less of a pop the cooler the wine is. So, Prosecco is perfect for sparkling cocktails, sparkling wine cocktails. Literally, you can put a, a bottle of this in a bucket, put a bottle of Chambord next to it. Pierre Royale. A, a Pierre Royale. It's like right there, and they can make their own cocktails. Making Beautiful. punches with juice. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. I'm having a great Pinot Noir or... This is, this is a, a <laughs> classic Pinot Noir. I it happen is. to really like it. Really affordable, but juicy, fruity, not too serious. Absolutely. Easy to drink. And th is that not the perfect party wine? That you Let's just open this so we can taste. You just described the perfect party wine right there. Um, well, because it's you don't have to be so committed. <laughs> absolutely. And you can just enjoy it. And so the, the key to finding those types of wines is um, buying wines that are kind of juicy and, and easy to drink. And those wines usually are wines that are from... Um, warm climates like California. Napa Valley. Yeah, like Napa. This is a wine when I'm 
looking for affordable wines, yes. this is one that I look to. Absolutely. Because it's drinkable. Some affordable wines aren't drinkable. I know. And this is Castle Rock, um, a Pinot Noir from California. And uh, it also too, it too also is a chairman selection. So some of the some of the greater restaurants in Philadelphia serve this as their Pinot Noir by the glass. I would. <laughs> I, I love this wine. So yeah, me too. Um, so Pinot Noir is versatile not only with um, fish but with meat and with on its own and it's just kind of great my, color. My favorite pair of black shoes wine. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Goes with everything. Mmm. Perfect. Mmm. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorites. Definitely. Excellent. Well, this has been really great, very informative. I love all of the ideas that you presented. Something for everybody when you're having a cocktail party. It can be affordable and drinkable. Thanks, <laughs> Melissa. Thank you. To see today's recipe and all of the recipes featured on the Chef's Kitchen, log on to chefskitchen.tv.